Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own glitter nail polish. So I'm going to zoom in the camera and show you guys the process. I'm going to be using these glitter polishes. I bought these from Walmart. They're very inexpensive. They're about $3 for a pack. And this is what I'm going to be using. The colors I've been wanting for glitter nail polish is a silver and a red. I have a lot of silver ones, but it's basically the one I use the most. So those are the colors I'm going to be showing you guys how to make those glitter polishes. But here you go. Look at these beautiful glitter polishes. There's brown, there's black. Imagine a glitter polish. I didn't think of doing one that color, but if you guys make one, please make sure to share them with me on Facebook. I'm going to paste the link in the information section so I can take a look at all the wonderful glitter polishes you guys can make. You guys can mix glitters, different uh, varieties of glitters as well. I have one, this one right here, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it really good, but it's the one with the long little glitters. And then these, the ones I like using are the extra fine glitters. And there you have those. And these are probably one of my favorite ones. The the wide variety of colors is just amazing. So I'm going to zoom in the camera and let's get started with the making of our glitter polishes. So here I have my packs I'm going to be using. One of my packs comes with a bonus mini funnel which really helps out a lot. I'm going to begin by checking my glitters for paint loss. I'm going to do this by adding a little bit of clear polish over my piece of paper. I'm going to drop a little bit of the red glitters and I'm going to begin mixing the two together to see if there's a lot of paint loss. So it's always fun to test the glitters before applying them to your glitter polish just so you know what to expect. One thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure that the clear nail polish you're using isn't full all the way to the top. The reason is because you'll have a big fail like I did here. So I'm placing the little funnel on the opening of my bottle and the, this nail polish was full to the top and I was very quick to add the glitters and look what's going to happen here. So you don't want to add too much of the glitters and because the bottle was full there was nowhere for the glitters to go so everything ended up dropping everywhere so you don't want to do this you want to add the glitters little by little to a bottle that isn't full all the way to the top so you're gonna drop those in replace your cap and you can see the glitters there in the middle and then you're gonna shake it if you want to add more glitters you can definitely do that until you're happy and satisfied with the amount but here you can see how beautiful the glitter polish turned out now for applying it get a red nail polish and just apply it over your entire nail or over the area that you're gonna be wanting to add the glitters now using the little red glitter bottle we just made I'm going to be adding it on top of the red polished nail to add that beautiful shiny shimmer. Now if you don't have the funnel, don't worry, you can directly add the glitters to your nail polish and do the same exact thing. Just shake your bottle and you'll get the same results. Beautiful red shiny red glitter polish. Now if you want more of a payoff, all you have to do is apply the polish over your entire nail and this also helps out if you don't want to use a whole entire bottle to turn it into a glitter polish and while your nail is still wet just pour on those glitters and this is a really flashy look all you have to do next is just fan brush out the extra glitters and make sure you have a piece of paper under in case you don't want to waste the glitters you can pour them back into the little bottle but there you have it this is a more exaggerated look so here I'm gonna compare side by side you can see that the one on the right side is a lot flashier so it's just up to you to decide the look you want now let's move over to working on the silver glitter polish I'm using the silver glitters my bottle isn't full to the top I'm going to get my little funnel, place it on top of my bottle, and I'm just going to little by little pour on those silver glitters. I'm going to replace the top, and you can see the glitters there in the center holding on. I'm just going to begin shaking my bottle, and you can do this as many times as you'd like, but you can see here how beautiful the glitters look. Now I'm going to also be adding the long silver glitters, and I'm just going to be pouring them on using the funnel as well. These are a little bit different to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my marbling tool. You can also use a toothpick or any pointed tip tool you have. And I'm just pushing them in. I'm going to very carefully remove the funnel. Replace the cap on my nail polish bottle. And I'm going to begin shaking them. And now I have the mixture of the two glitter the two glitters on my nail polish and it looks absolutely beautiful. Now for this one you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add a silver nail polish before applying your glitters. 
so they could be a bigger payoff. I'm going to use the glitters we just made and I'm just going to be applying them over the entire nail. Adding those shiny shimmery glitters. Silver is actually one of the ones I use the most. So here are the two glitters at the end and I'm going to let these sit for a couple of days. Six days have gone by and you can see that the glitter is completely sitting over the bottom area. So what I would recommend right about now is that if you added too many glitters, you can go ahead and use a nail polish thinner. This will bring your nail polish to a normal consistency and it'll be easy to mix the glitters. Another thing I would recommend, which is totally optional, is adding a bead to your nail polish. If you have an old nail polish bottle, you can use that. Just drop it in and just mix it the same way we did the first time, but this isn't necessary. Even if you don't use the bead, it'll still mix as I'm going to show you with the red nail polish. So I'm just mixing that in and it does help a lot. The little bead does help, but it's not necessary. I didn't add any of the nail polish thinner to either my red or my silver glitter polish. So here it is and it looks perfect. It's absolutely ready to use after six days. It's still in good condition. Now here you can see the red glitter polish. It did turn my clear polish into a red tint, but the good thing is that the glitter still remain red. So it really doesn't matter. What I'm going to do to this one is basically just shake it. This is after six days of the glitter sitting there just on the shelf. I haven't shaken them for anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it. I'm not going to use a bead. So as you can see, you don't need a bead. Um, if you added too many glitters, you might need nail polish thinner. So it's just going to depend on the amount of glitters you added. So I'm just shaking my bottle and here you can see that they're mixing in nicely apart from the fact that I didn't add a bead. So here are my two glitter polishes after them sitting in the shelf for six days. The silver one has the bead and the red one doesn't. So you know it really doesn't make a difference whether you added one or not. Just make sure to shake them well before you use them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.